Hi, I'm Fred. This is Wood Tools Workshop. How do you measure the height of your table saw blade or your router table bit? With a tape measure? A little adjustable piece on the end? I never have really trusted that guy for accuracy. You can get close, but over here, there's another problem which is that this little insert isn't even at the same height as the rest of the table. It's down about a 30 second or thereabouts. So I made this. This height measuring tool is based on ones that I've seen for sale like it. And the advantage here is that its legs are wide enough that they're not on the insert, but actually on the table. Another advantage is that it can stay here in position so you can get a constant reading until you're at the point you want to be instead of coming back up here and measure each time after you raise. To begin with, measure how wide you want the feet to be. It's almost four inches across here, so four inches would be the minimum for the inside measurement. Hey, I need to interrupt here for a minute and make a correction. Four would not be the minimum. This is four and a half, and look at the position of the feet. That's because the blade is offset. That's all. Materials we need include a piece of scrap plywood, four number four by half inch screws, a scrap piece of plexiglass, a rare earth magnet, and optionally a cup for the magnet. And you need a six inch metal rule. Can't be aluminum because it's got to work with the magnet. The top of our measuring tool needs to be six inches the same height as the rule. For width, we already know that we've got four inches across. Let's add another half inch so that we can turn it one way or the other a little bit and not get off the table. So four and a half and let's make each leg an inch in width. That would give us six and a half for the width of our measuring tool. Half of six and a half is three and a quarter. That's where we'll put the point of the compass for both of our arcs. Our rule is three quarters of an inch wide. Let's go two inches for the width of the body up above the leg. We need to cut a dado through the body of the ruler. Very thin, the width of the ruler. The magnet I chose is 1 8 an inch thick and has a 3 8 inch diameter and its corresponding cup has a half inch outer diameter. These sizes aren't critical, that's just the smallest size I had on hand when I started making this. Three and five eighths by two. We don't want to have the screw grip the plexiglass because it might crack it, so I'm going to make these holes bigger than the ones here for the screws. There we go, that's what we want. The plexiglass is not really dingy and hard to see through. It has a protective cover on it, which we can take off now. That's better, huh? There we 
There it is.